off the top today, no, we're not going to talk about Shohei as we have for the past few episodes, <laughs> kind of Shohei out a little bit. But um, I do want to talk about who the athletic calls the other MVP unicorn. And his name is Ronald Acuna Jr. And <laughs> if you read the Ar- athletic article, they argue that he's having one of the best season of any leadoff hitter ever, including, speaking of junk wax era, Ricky Henderson, who we're both very familiar with. And um, for context, I want to give you some stats. Acuna, to date, has 21 homers, 41 stolen bases, 78 runs scored, all before the All-Star break, which happens next week. So if he keeps up this pace, he'll be in the 40-75 club. And Chris, you know how many guys are in that club right now? Well, I know there are, what is it, four that are in the 40-40 club. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are none in a 50-50. <laughs> right, right, yeah. None anymore in that. So I'm going to go with a big zero on that one. <laughs> you would yeah, be the you, founder. And you would be correct. He would be the founder of the 40-75 club <laughs> if he keeps up the pace. Which It is doesn't incredible. even sound good. I mean, if you can't do 75-75, don't even bother. Because <laughs> yeah, if you can't do 40-75, be... it doesn't sound good. Right. <laughs> It's got to be even. 50-50 is more impressive than 40-75. Now, I remember when I played, um, or maybe just after I finished, I I think it was Matt, well, it was Matt Kemp. I remember hearing him say that he thought that he could do a Mm 50-50. And, you know, uh, injuries and everything like that happened afterwards. He didn't didn't get there. But he was a guy who had that kind of talent. Mm -hmm. You know what? When I got back into playing fantasy baseball, Matt Kemp Mm -hmm. was number one draft, you know, uh, number one pick off the draft. And, uh, and I kind of got into collecting sports cards around the same time. So, of course, I'm like, I need a Matt Kemp rookie. And uh, you know what? I'm kind of glad I didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, man, a lot can change in two, three years. You, could, you, know. you could still get one right now. Good investment. He might <laughs> still right. come back. I'll tell you what. He hit the furthest ball off of me. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was him. If my memory serves me correctly. Matt that did not go out of the park. Okay. It yeah. was a foul? No, it was dead center field in Las Vegas. Dead center was about, oh, it's, it, okay. it's, a, it's a band box, but it goes straight out to about three, uh, I think it was oh, 435. Wow. And he hit one st- a mile high. Yeah. And I actually had Dave Roberts, the, the manager for the, mm-hmm. the, yeah. the uh, Dodgers. For Dodgers. He, he was out there playing center field because he, he was on a rehab assignment with us in AAA. And he, cool. uh, it looked like the way he was camped underneath, I say camped in quotes, it looked like somebody dropped a baseball out of a out of a helicopter or something. The way he was kind of <laughs> dancing around, waiting for this thing to come down. But I think he hit about four hundred and thirty three feet, and it didn't go out. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Dead center, right? Right. Dead center. <laughs> well, that's a special memory. Um, 